Hey guys, it's me, Komasan. Welcome to another week of FNAF Weekly News. Every week, I cover FNAF news on Friday, so if you like that, subscribe and like, because it means a lot. First of all, we got so much news this week. We got the 10th anniversary stuff, which we got an entire week of reveals. So, we're going to cover over that for us. Then we got more news and game news, so we got plenty of stuff to talk about. So, let's get off with the 10th anniversary stuff. So, we got an entire week from August 4th to August 8th of just brand new FNAF stuff. So, August 4th is my pop goes a full game is released, so that's awesome. August 2nd, the Joy of Quasin demo. I will definitely be playing that on my YouTube channel. August 3rd, a VIP interactive novel, which is for you so a brand new FNAF story which is gonna be for you so that's gonna be crazy I can't believe they're doing that August 4th is a still war announcement so it could be a DLC for help on the two since flat mode just came out like today or yesterday or something like that or that FNAF carnival game that's been hinted at so we could get that or the DLC or just in something entirely different so August 4th that's that August 5th, the Scott Cotham interview with Darko. It's a 2.0 version. So, last time Darko did an interview with Scott, it was during uh, after we beat it, Ultimate Custom Night. So, it's been about five years. So, there's way more stuff to talk about. Maybe some FNAF movie news and stuff like that. But, crazy stuff's gonna happen. August 6th, we get a mystery collab announcement. And, guys, it's gonna be Fortnite. I, I have an entire reason why. So, apparently, Fortnite is having a same. Day update at this date of the mystery collab which could be a collab with Fortnite people have been wanting FNAF in Fortnite for such a long time on all the survey lists for uh, Fortnite buddy Fazbell or the Glamrock animatronics are gonna be there my only concern about this collab is who is gonna be picked I really want the Glamrock and animatronics most people want the OGs I just want to play as Roxy or like Glamrock uh, Chica because I really like those animatronics but it's probably gonna be FNAF 1, which I don't really want. This the new ones are way better in my de design wise, but that's just me. August 7th, we got five lots of footies. A game by Click Team. It's a demo, and this is gonna be a wasting game. So if you guys remember back in the, like a year ago, where Click Team said they needed help on a game, this is the said game with that new little bit redesign of what they look like. It's it, the outfit was literally uh, a, like a wasting outfit. So now we know it's a wasting game so that's crazy and august 8th into the pit for game is released so if you're excited for the entire week of fnaf news i will definitely be doing everything if except the things that cost money because i don't have money right now but i would do all the stuff that's free and stuff like that because it's gonna be a crazy week for me and you guys too so we got now let's go on to the morts you know we get so much more every week, so let's just go over it fast. So, YouTube has released a concept art for an upcoming figure of Loon Boy from Five Nights at Freddy's movie, likely releasing in the second FNAF movie wave in September. So, it's a Loon Boy figurine that just looks like the Bloom Boy from the movie. I, I'm not, I'm surprised it's taking them so long to actually make this thing real, because it, it's in the movie someone had to design that i don't know i don't know what what took like a entire year or two for that to actually come out but stuff happened so i understand hex has released an upcoming the circus baby world pizza pin featuring the fun time animatronics from five nights at Freddy's sister location a teaser from the release of the screenshot plus was also revealed his prison will be open soon so we got a amazing pin from hex uh Circus Baby's Pizza Order, which absolutely looks fantastic. Hex has been cooking with the designs, and this pin is absolutely amazing. I love the way that baby looks on here. I can't wait for this to come out because, oh man, it's so cool looking. Hex has been doing so much awesome things. Darko, man, he is doing wonders. YouTube has fully released their next Five Nights at Freddy's collection, releasing on June 25th. So we got Night Lights of Freddy and Moon, Pussies of Dreadbell, Marionette, and Freddy Pizza, so just Freddy on Pizza, just let me clarify that. Sword of White Oils, we got Bonnie, and old Monty, Roxy, and Foxy. Roxy looks so cute, like, oh my god, she's so cute looking. And the Melianette, oh, uh, she's so cute too, like, sometimes YouTube's things look a little bit weird in my opinion, but sometimes they look so cute, and I love cute things, guys, so I can't wait for them to come out. They're coming about in June 25th, that's about in like, a week i think week or two so 
I, oh, I can't wait for people to actually have these. I wish I could have them, guys. But I got no money. That's why you guys subscribe and like so I can actually and watch this video fully so I can get watched out so I can eventually get paid and maybe soon I can make more to review stuff and stuff like that. So we can just cover everything FNAF related on this channel. So FYE has released a Pink Star Pink Lemonade flavor of the Fizzy Faz Cola featuring Glamrock Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Police. So we finally got the final fi uh, Fizzy Faz Cola and it's gonna be Pink Lemonade flavor. So we got the other flavors. I think Freddy was on, uh, Walk, uh, Waxy was cola, just generic cola, which I love, by the way, I love generic cola. Monty uh, got a lemon lime soda, so it's kind of like a Sprite, I guess. Now we got the pink lemonade. Tell me in the comments if you guys actually tried this stuff out. I really want to try it, but I don't have an FYE near me, so I can't enjoy the wonders of this Fizzy Fez soda, so I'm missing out big time. But that was all the merch news this week. So now let's get into the fan games. And we got so much fan game news because of that release thing that we covered earlier. So we got a new look at Blake the Badger in Pop Goes Everqueen, a 4K wallpaper available on Game Jolt. So go on Game Jolt, check out Pop Goes Everqueen, and you can get an epic new wallpaper. Here's what it looks like right here. I just don't have it downloaded. It looks cool. It says Game Over, and they're like, saw. But pretty cool looking. I never played a Pop Goes game, so. Maybe I should play it. You guys tell me. I'll play it. I'll check it out because it seems like fan games. I get all like all my views. And it kind of makes me sad because I'm currently playing FNAF 2 right now. So we also got some new gameplay footage of the living room level and the joy of Quest and featuring Ignited Freddy. Here's the trailer. Oh my god, that is so creepy looking. Just the way that Freddy is, it looks like a warm horse behind, like just, you can feel the feel behind it. Like, it's crazy. They think this is probably like the best looking uh, fan game, uh, fan game in, in, uh, thing that Scott made. It's like, this is probably the best looking one. Like, dang, they are putting some work into it. Also, we finally got a trailer for the joy of Quasin, so check it out. It looks pretty good. I can't wait to play the demo when it comes out on, uh, I think it was like somewhere in August, whatever day it was. I'm definitely gonna be playing it. I know the original, I never played it and it's very scary and that's why I don't wanna play it. But I'm definitely gonna be playing the demo, guys. Now, that's all the fan game stuff. So now we got some official game news. So a Walmart exclusive physical version of Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2, which includes a limited edition final helpy sticker is available to pre-order. So, if you get the physical edition of Help Wanted 2, you get a little sticker with it. The same thing happened with Help Wanted, uh, not Help Wanted, uh, Security Breach. It gave you a bunch of stickers. I still have them. I didn't open them up at, uh, at all. But it's also published by uh, Maximum Entertainment. And I hate their guts. Uh, they're a very uh, scummy company uh, that won't, uh, that basically took down one of my favorite games. And they are a bad company, so... It, you, you can buy the game if you want. I'm not telling you to buy it or not buy it, but Maximum Entertainment is a very scummy company. I'll just tell you guys that. Also, we got our first look at Freddy Fazbear's and Five Nights at Freddy's in the upcoming Funko Fusion game release during today's Nintendo Direct. Well, it was not today, but it was like later. So it's releasing on September 14th, 2024. So that's in three months, I believe. So if you guys are excited, check it out. This game is basically like Lego Dimensions, but like with ABC Entertainment, Keltos, or something like that. I don't know. But 
definitely check it out. I'll play the trailer here. It's kind of loops, so I'm just gonna loop it because it doesn't it doesn't really cover much. But yeah, but it looks pretty cool. We got a gun that's like an oven or something. It's pretty cool. So we got our official Five Nights at Freddy's gun. Yeah, that's Fusion Bunker Fusion. Interesting game. Uh, but yeah, and now the biggest reveal of all for this week. Actually, no, it's not. Well, yeah, it kind of is. So, the flat mode version of Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2 is now available on PlayStation 5 and Steam. A patch update for the title as well as physical copies have been released as of today. So, if you want to get the physical edition, like I said before, you can get it. I personally want to get it because I hate that company. But if you like physical media, I would highly get it. And also, you can now play flat mode. So, if you didn't have a VR headset, this is what flat mode does. It's basically a non-VR version of the game. So, now you can actually enjoy the game without owning a VR headset. That was very fast, but you can officially play the game now if you have it. So, if you're one of the people that bought it but couldn't actually physically play it, now you can. So, awesome. Can't wait. Doc is going to be playing it tomorrow, I believe. Or he already made a video off of it or something. He is live streaming tomorrow for a uh, live stream to help out the travel project. After I'm streaming, I will probably tell you guys to go uh, check that out because uh, it's a great cause and it helps people like me because I'm trans and I'm in the LGBT community, so it helps out a lot and brings recognition to uh, our lives and people. So it's a very good thing. And the final thing of this week is that Steel War has released a new fast full commercial promoting the launch of Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2 flat mode. Check it out. From the depths of the VR dimension, Fast Force Freddy calls forth Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2. Fast Force, engage. Release Help Wanted 2 flat mode. Button, press. Mouse, click. Keyboard, tap. Help one, two, flat mode available on PlayStation 5 and Steam now. I honestly like it. It's like that old 80s vibe, like how everything was like throwing marketing at kids, like, buy this action figure, buy this action figure. Look at this soil. It's funny fastball soil. It's stuff like that. So I really like the trailer. But. That is all we have of this week. There was a lot of crazy news this week. Probably the most we're going to get for a while. But if guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Also, watch this video fully if you didn't. Because it means a lot. It gives me watch hours so I can get paid. If I get paid, I can start doing stuff. More stuff for you guys. Well, that means more types of videos and stuff like that. More reviews. Uh, like exclusive live streams for people that I click to join thing. I don't have the feature yet. But when I do, I'll be doing exclusive live streams for you guys. So definitely give me a watch hours and subscribe and like it. It means a lot and helps me a lot. But every Friday, I cover FNAF news. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.